I got a wide back, okay? And I understand that. It's just why I'm a wide receiver. I don't know why. <laughs> My shirt is up. It'll just be up. Happy Wednesday. It is, um, what time is it? It's like 5 something p.m. And, y'all, I don't feel good. So, I'm going to take Mucinex because, you know, your throat start getting all scratchy. Mm -mm. But, um, I just mustered up the strength to go get my hair cut. Cut me up real cute. Got me a little new design on the side, but I don't feel good. I feel all scratchy. I haven't been vlogging. So, I hoped I could just make this cold not really come all the way. I don't like it. Anyway, y'all, I'll talk to y'all later when I feel better, okay? Hey, y'all. As you can see, I'm at work, and they had a taco truck come in for us. So, I got, um... A quesadilla and a flour taco with sour cream and chicken and lime extra cheese so I hope it's good <clears throat> it's one of the taco trucks that I've seen around here a lot but I never stopped at it so I'm gonna find out if it's good or not I'll let y'all know but it's all there. Hey y'all, so I just got off work and I'm here at European Wax Center. They are not open yet because it's 7.14. My appointment is at 8 o'clock. So I'm just gonna chill out and take a 45 minute nap because I can't go home and come right back. So we gotta get these eyebrows together. Mm -hmm. Believe you can, cause baby you the remedy. You're my mirror, I can finally see Bringing out the best in me Good morning, y'all. What's up? It's Thursday. It's very rainy outside. But I just got a call that my order is in to pick up for my new, we call them forms and bra that I got for the um, after mastectomy bra. 
So I'm really excited to go get that. It's almost four o'clock and they close at five. So we gotta hurry up and go pick that up if I don't wanna have to wait till tomorrow. I also have a package from a subby that we'll be unboxing later. Um, I'm also waiting on this package to come in from Fenty. But let me hurry up and jump in the shower real quick and try to go pick this up. I'm so excited, yay. Okay, I'm here, y'all. About to go pick it up. Hope it fits me. Okay, y'all, I picked up the bra and I'm gonna try to show you the difference without showing too much or whatever. So I got on a jacket that really shows me the difference of the two different sizes that I look like. By the way, if you're new here, I had a double mastectomy five years apart. So I had two different surgeons to do two different types of procedures. So therefore I look different on each side. And so I went and got fitted for a after mastectomy bra and inserts to put inside to even you out and smoothly smooth you out to look the same so there we go so i'm gonna show you as best as i can the difference okay so if you can see this side is really smaller and this is the side where they just remove the whole breast and put a implant inside this side is the bigger side. This side was done from my stomach. This is the skin from my stomach. So they just cut my stomach. So I had a free tummy tuck, so to speak. They cut my stomach and put it as a breast right here. So whatever my stomach looked like, that it's here right now. So luckily I had no stretch marks or anything. But anyway, it's tattooed, it's covered with a whole flower tattoo right here. So they did this with my stomach and put an implant in as well. So I do have implants as well. But the unevenness, if you can see, small, larger. This is the smaller side. This is the bigger side. You all see, I hope, I hope I'm doing a good job of showing you the difference. Now, on the outside, like people will never probably see because I would have on a bra, which I do not now. There is no bra involved, see, no lines or nothing in the back. So, no big deal to some people, but I can tell and it makes you self-conscious because you were born with something, now you don't have the something anymore. So, it's a mind thing. So I'm gonna try on the bra after I show it to you guys and let you see what it's look like, looking like. Let me go get it, I'll be back. This is the goodie bag. It's huge. Okay, so this is the insert. This is the bigger one. So this one will be for the smaller side because it is the bigger one to actually make me look even. So it comes in a nice case. If you can see the flower. It's a nice case for you to store it. So this is the insert that was made especially for me. This is what it looks like. This goes inside of the bra. The bra is also fitted to me. So for this side to be bigger, it would match this side now. But also they gave me an insert for this side too, which I didn't understand at first. But she said it smooths you out and make you look even better. So I have a bigger one for this side.
shipwreck, whoever was at the factory made that for me. And it has care instructions and a warranty. And I am eligible to get these for um, every two years. I can replace. Okay. And it's a little slot in here for the car to keep the instructions so you can care for it. One is a size 9 and one is a size 10. I'm so weirded out talking about this, y'all. It feels so strange. Like, it's such a personal thing. Like, okay. Um, okay, so now for... Now for the actual bra. So only the regular bra came in. The little cute ones didn't come in yet. They are back ordered, okay? So... This is the bra. It's just really regular looking, but it is not. It has slots in here, just like your bathing suit would. It has slots to put the whole cutlet inside so it's secure and safe to um, not fall out, you know. So this is the regular one. It looks like you know, kind of like a sports bra. And of course, I'm gonna try it on. And you can see the difference. I hope I'm doing a good job of showing you the difference that it's gonna look like. So this is before. No bra at all. No inserts, no nothing. That's why I put on this white jacket so you can see. I see it really good. That's big and that's smaller. By the way, this one has an entire tattoo on it. It's a whole flower. It took three sessions to do it, $650. I want to get this side done as well, but um, I mean, it's kind of an easy cheating tattoo because there's no feeling. I feel nothing. I don't feel anything. All the nerves are gone out, but certain spots that they get to, Certain spots you can still feel it, and I think that's what's keeping me from getting the other side done. But for the most part, I have no feeling. There's nothing there. It's like I can, like if my shirt blows up in the summertime or something, and I don't see it, I won't know. I can't feel anything there. So my shirt is up. It'll just be up. Okay, so this is the bra by itself with no inserts put in it. So it even looks better now with even without the inserts because it's specially fitted for me. I've never in my life had a bra that was fitted for me, but yeah. So let's see, it just fits perfectly. By the way, it's a 38D, that's the size I am. 38. <laughs> With me wearing a small size clothes and I still wear 38 anything, I got a wide back, okay? And I understand that. It's just why I'm a wide receiver. I don't know why. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna come back with the inserts in. Okay, so here's the bra with the inserts put in it. And it's all smoothed out and even. I'm just trying not to show too much or whatever but this is like you know a sports bra it's not a lot but it's a whole big difference going on let me put on my top and show you the difference big difference huge difference i am very happy everything's all even and smoothed out to me yeah <laughs> y'all i want 200 comments i want 200 comments Give me 200 comments. I don't care. One sentence at a time. 200 comments for being vulnerable and opening up to y'all. This is not easy to talk about. But I'm cute. I'm cute. And then like, oh, I had to change that mic too. I hope y'all hear me better. This is like giving me some cleavage. You know, something I haven't been able to kind of flaunt for years let's like pushing it up a little bit um ignore this my piercing is irritated irritated like me right now because i'm hot i'm so hot this is why i don't do try on hauls oh let me know if y'all want me to do a try on haul but it gets hot doing those but okay so let me explain mastectomy a little bit so 
when when they remove the tissue all of it right you get a like a a caved in look like if you can see there's like indention i don't know if y'all can see or not but i can this helps a lot because it's like it's taking something away and it's gone so it kind of caves in like under my arms it's like caved in because the tissue is gone it's like really deep so i have to like open my arm like make it flat to shave and to put on deodorant and stuff it's like no skin there it's like like indented in a lot like it's a whole bunch of stuff whatever but anyway i'm very happy with this and let me show y'all the ridiculousness of like prices and stuff It says, uh, ABC is dedicated to helping women lead fuller lives after breast surgery. So, that's cute. A little message for you. But here is the price if you did not have insurance. This is for one of the inserts. Just one. One. $383 for one. And then other side oh it's the same $383 jeez and then the actual bra was $81.88 so the total is $847.88 Truth be told, though, I would have paid it. I would have paid it cash if I didn't have insurance just to give me my confidence back and stuff like that. So let me clean up this mess that I made and I'm going to talk to y'all in a minute. Okay, y'all, I'm burning up from doing all that trying on stuff. I want to make me some iced coffee. Let's do that. got a package from Wasabi. This is from Kai Bozeman. She lives here in Michigan. And she said she wanted to send me something. I was like, 
We like that. We sure can send you something. Now let's open it and see what you got. Oh, it's the breast cancer stuff. <laughs> it is so cute. It's like packaged nicely. So we got the bracelet with the high heels. Oh, girl, I guess you've been watching my channel. You know me, okay? Okay. They red bottoms, too. <laughs> Y'all see the red bottom? So adorable. And then she sent a pin. Look, I'm all geek. I feel spoiled. Oh, so adorable. Okay, so it has a heart and a breast cancer ribbon inside. So fancy. Oh, <laughs> I think I'm gonna write a letter today. Hey, girl. Okay, so she makes these. Let me show you her card. So y'all can hit her up. Okay, that's her card. Screenshot it. Hook her up. Check her out. I'm gonna put it in the description too. She's on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Okay. Yay! Thank you, Kai. Thank you so much. I'm gonna put that in the description for you, like I said, so y'all can check her out. Get y'all some accessories. It's all cute. Look. That was so nice of you. It's right on time with my little uh bra thing that I just did. Right on time. Good timing, girl. Thank you so much. But y'all, so like I'm a, I'm the kind of person that's been through a lot of stuff medically, right? So I try to just keep it moving, like whatever is whatever. Okay, what I gotta do, blah, blah, blah. So now I've been diagnosed with something else. And I'm like, okay, well, what do we do now? You know? So I've been diagnosed with osteoporosis, which is a bone issue so my doctor is basically telling me like don't fall don't break nothing what so it started out first like five years ago it was called osteopenia which is the beginning stage of osteoporosis i'll put the um definition somewhere um but yeah, so I got to watch out for bone issues. I'm like, man, when can I catch a break? But okay, so the solution for it for someone as young as me, which is not young, but is young for this diagnosis. Osteoporosis happens to 80 year old women and you know, those people that are like hunched over and all of that because they have that severe bone loss so they have something to slow it down and it's called some kind of shot so i got turned down by my insurance for the shot because the shot the treatment don't match the age that i am like they're like why are you giving a 54 year old uh 80 year old treatment type of thing so my doctor had to fight for me to get this treatment done, so now it's scheduled to be done. It was approved because they had to explain that away, I guess. So, yeah, so now here's the next endeavor for me is to s stop the acceleration of it. Um, I do believe it's hereditary. Um, you know, a lot of people don't know what's in their family. They only know like the obvious thing, like, you know, cancer, diabetes, high blood pressure. But when you go into 
you know, more depth of things like what is going on? What does your mom have? What does your brother have? What can you possibly get? What can your kids possibly get? Like you really don't think about that stuff in your 20s and 30s and all that. You just live in life. But we all go through things and I'm just push through that too. Like if I got through two bouts of uh, breast cancer, I could deal with osteoporosis. It's just bone loss. So I have to take like a lot of calcium. Let me show you what my doctor told me to take. She actually said take these. Tums. These Tums have more than those calcium pills they sell in the store. So this one has a thousand milligrams. Yep, a thousand milligrams. So I'll take these and these are the good kind. They're chewable. Um, I mean, when you think of Tums, you think of gross, chalky, nasty taste of your stomach hurting or something. But anyway, these are the ones I get. And that's just what I take. And I'm waiting for the hospital to call me to see when I get that shot. So I just thought I'd let y'all know about that because lately y'all been knowing all my medical business anyway so sometimes you gotta you know let it be known what you're going through and maybe you can get some extra prayers from people or or whatever or maybe you can help somebody else who's dealing with something or maybe something even more severe you know what i'm saying so yeah okay so let me read this this um, note from kai she said just a small token of my appreciation for you Keep being who you are and true to your craft. The sky is the limit, Kai. XOXO. Just a little cute note she gave me. Thank you. That means so much to me for a subscriber to just be rocking with me from the beginning and send me a token of appreciation. Like, I didn't do nothing. <laughs> but I appreciate you, girl, taking out the time from your day and sending me that gift. I appreciate that. She sent me extra cards. So, uh, yeah, I appreciate that. Uh, shout out to you. And um, I'm going to get this to my sister. She's going to probably buy something for me, too. That's cool. She got custom handmade jewelry. So we're going to check you out. Don't worry, girl. We got to support each other. You know, it's not a lot of support out here in the world. So I got you. And thanks for looking out for me and keep on watching. On that note, y'all, I will talk to y'all later um tomorrow we going to uh benihana um it's my off day tomorrow and um wana y'all remember her she's um going to benihana tomorrow before work and i don't have to go to work at all so yay i will see y'all probably then i don't know if it'll be for that or not but i'm exhausted from that little trial thing i'm like mm. i'll see y'all tomorrow bye Hey y'all, it's Friday. It's 12.46 p.m. And we are about to go into Benihana to get some lunch. Lunch, lunch, lunch. Say hi to the vlog. They ain't seen you in a minute. Hey, I know y'all forgot me. I'm Lady J. It's been a minute. Hey, hey guys. <laughs> <laughs> That's some new subscribers. Hi. It's her birthday. So happy birthday, Hi. birthday, Hi. birthday. Say hello. Hello. Uh, <laughs> that Benny Hans was a hot mess. But I'm gonna show y'all the new lip balm from Fenty. It just came today. Let's test it out. It's really super small. Oh, it's super small. Baby size. Okay, it's supposed to be cherry. Smells good. 
Okay, it feels good and smells good. Let's see how it holds up. I hope it doesn't develop a a white cast or whatever. All right, y'all. Woo, I gotta go to Dunkin' because I need coffee. I ain't had no coffee. I only been asleep for like two hours today. Then I got up to come to lunch to see Wanda real quick. Y'all saw her, right? Um, it's a nice sunny day. It's 49 degrees. Today is the Uber day. Um, we got the <laughs> St. Patrick's Day stuff going on. So it'll be a lot of drunk people for me to pick up. And hopefully I could get y'all a lot of Uber Chronicles since y'all love them so much. But you know, people don't always be lit like that. I hope I get some good stuff this weekend. Hey y'all. I just had to snatch my lashes off real quick. But let me show y'all what I got today from Ross. I got the pink stuff. Everybody's been cleaning with this. I want to see what it's about myself. I got a sampler of MCM perfumes. And on the back is like the little purses. So I want to open that up with y'all. I'm like, not MCM at Ross. <laughs> oh, so cute. Look at this. They're a little backpacks they come off like that so cute so it's two of each and it's the all day perfume the mcm all day perfume that's the name of it so we got two colors how cute is this to carry around with you it smells okay it's not uh, oh oh that one smells kind of better the gold one smells better than the brown one but the brown bag is cuter than the gold bag to me four in a pack for 34 dollars adorable that would be cute to put in like a gift bag too for somebody so cute so i also found a um carl lagerfeld bag i'm in love with carl lagerfeld stuff um if y'all seen my work bag with the iPod picture and the glasses picture and all that, the phone picture you put it in each pocket, that's Carl Lagerfeld too. Um, this one is too adorable though. Look at Carl Lagerfeld, y'all. And the cat and the XOXO. So this was $59.99, regular price at $138. So, this is a good one. Love my Carl Lagerfeld bags. And then y'all, one more thing that I got. Look at that. It is so sturdy and cute. It's like suede-like. And I love it. It matched my room so well. I fell in love with that. And that was only $39.99. But we, we have come to the end of this vlog. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And stay tuned for the next one. Again, welcome to all my new subbies. And hey, y'all, to the ones that's been here. But I will see y'all in the next vlog starting later on today. And it's Friday. So Friday night starts the new vlog. Bye.